the whistle blown by Kevin Roach this afternoon's referee and again all our thoughts with uh, Des O'Neill and his family and uh, everyone at St Monica's a founding member who passed away there about two weeks ago and now we'll try to figure out who indeed isn't starting for Road Warriors here this afternoon with those late changes Dean Thompson and Jamie Lawler both in will be as you have it there John Coughlin and Mark Lyons in midfield for Monica's Judo Sullivan and Jamie Andrews in midfield for O'Dwyer's Kevin Roach the referee doing a quick count we 15 against 15 and off we go and straight away it's O'Dwyer's with the early possession and the early run here from Dylan Foster he puts that one back towards Kieran Gay again Jamie Andrews trying to put that one low in but uh, Ryan Murphy in goals for St Monica's does really well just to tidy things up there ball there from St Monica's captain Aaron Leonard but, uh, two Old Wars players back there James Keenan and Jamie Andrews and here we go with Jude O'Sullivan Jude Breaking forward, trying to play a long ball into space. Well, it finds plenty of space, but it goes out over the end line. And that'll be a line ball to St. Monica's. Taken quickly. Ryan Murphy, the Monica's goalie. A bit of pressure there on Keith Dempsey, the Monica's full back, but he gets that one back under pressure from Liam O'Prout. Show there from Derek Doyle out in front of his man, and his man is Jamie Lawler. Still going ahead is Doyle. Now tries to put a low one in towards the full forward line, and indeed towards Patrick Leonard. Well, that was easily cut out. Again, already we can see O'Dwyer's with a number of men back there, back behind the ball, giving that extra bit of protection to their full back line. Dylan Foster plays that back now. Here comes Foster again. Nice interplay from O'Dwyer's. And such a turnaround that O'Dwyer's have had in the last 12 months. They're in the relegation playoff last year. And here they are in a county final. Good work here from Jamie Andrews. He's still going. Andrews looking for the angle. In the end, that hits the posts and goes out, but it will be a 45. And again, good pressure there from the Monica's backs. And we see the replay here again. Does really well, does Andrews. Keeps going. Slips by Coughlin. In the end, I think it's Aaron Leonard, the Monica's captain, who gets a fingertip to that. This one's going to be taken quickly. Monica's player's half asleep as Judo Sullivan looks up with the left, and that's been very well measured. That's a lovely score for O'Dwyer's and for Judo Sullivan. That's a lovely start for him. Two minutes gone. Wires with the first score of the afternoon. A little bit of a spill there by Keith Dempsey, but regathers it. Kieran Clifford, good accurate ball in there towards Leonard. Leonard now looking to take on his man, who is Stephen Crawley. Crawley does well. And then Keenan comes in to help him out. And between Crawley and Keenan, the two men on the left-hand side, Furrow Dwyer's did really well there. And that's a bit of a loose one. And there'll be a free in here. And that was really loose from Dylan Foster, the right half-back, Furrow Dwyer's. Tried to play across his goal, but wasn't half strong enough. Easily read, easily cut out. And in the end, it was a foul on Patrick Leonard, I think. Jamie Andrews, midfielder, Furrow Dwyer's. Given out there, but I don't think he can have too many complaints. Now, difficult angle there for Patrick Leonard, but he does the job. And we're all level after three minutes here in Parnell Park. A perfect response 
and a lovely kick from Leonard and again that'll just settle the nerves first free kick it's a great kick out from Lee Fanning that was so well to find Jamie Andrews who took the mark and again worth mentioning that breeze that we do have here in Parnell Park it's a beautiful sunny day but that breeze is favouring Monica's in this first half not a gale by any means but certainly a factor for Lee Fanning in goals as he was taking that kick out did really well to find Andrews though good into play again from O'Dwyer's effort here from and that one's gone to the right and wide from Aaron Keenan. And that's the first wide of the afternoon. Ryan Murphy tries to see where the space is, where are the options. Maybe a push in the back on John Coughlin there by Judo Sullivan. But on we go, says the ref. And O'Dwyer's will go again. Nice accurate ball into Aaron Keenan there again. Had that effort earlier that he put wide. Plays that one off towards Dylan Andrews. And again, they're just sizing up the options inside. Good run from Daniel Doherty. The and in the end, on the left, and that was Prout there with that effort, but it was easily cut out by Ryan Murphy in goal. Mark Lyons, midfielder for St. Monica's. Does well to find John Coughlin. The bounce nearly catching Philip Kelly out, but does well to regather it. Here he goes. Kelly with a bit of space. Tries to nearly dink that one over the bar. And I don't know if he saw the run inside. That maybe put him off a little bit, but that'll go down as the first wide for Monica's. Six minutes gone, point apiece. Fanning with the kick out for O'Dwyer's. Tries to get Judo Sullivan. Going to push in the back there. And on we go, says the referee. That's a nice ball from Kieran Gay. Does really well to find Aaron Keenan. Keenan has a bit of space in front of him. Will he take his score? He will. That was really nicely done by Aaron Keenan, but it was all about the ball from Kieran Gay. We see you here again. Keenan bearing in on goal. Getting away from Paddy Conroy. Nice score. And atones for that wide that he had earlier. Mark Lyons doing well in midfield there for Monica's trying to get Philip Kelly. An advantage will be being played, so we'll come back for that foul on Mark Lyons. And again, interesting, it mentioned it already about the amount of players that O'Dwyer's are putting back there. Yeah, so the likes of Leonard here, Patrick Leonard, he had nearly three lads around him that he had to scrap with there to just find any bit of space. We watch now Paul Dillon with this effort with his left. And Paul Dillon has driven that one wide. And that's two wides now for Monica's after seven minutes, one wide for O'Dwyer's, and it's O'Dwyer's with the uh, narrowest of margins, two to one ahead here in Parnell Park in the first of our championship finals. The intermediate final obviously coming later on this afternoon, but here is the Dublin Junior 1 Football Championship final. James Keenan, the O'Dwyer centre halfback. Down there, a bit of a limp. And I think Magic Sponge perhaps being needed here, but I don't think he's going to be uh, in too much bother. to really tell what was going on there but good to see that he's okay again Lee Fanning with the kick out goes long again Jamie Andrews more often than not is the target for Lee Fanning 
Andrew's unlucky, just wasn't quite able to gather that one, but he's he may get that ball off the shoulder from Jude O'Sullivan, but in the end, O'Sullivan was trying to put that one in towards Liam Prout, but easily cut out there by Jared Kerwin, the Monica's cornerback. Monica's off we go again with them. Aaron Leonard, their captain. And Mark Lyons and now puts a really long high ball in there, but great bravery there from Porrick Sheehan. Did well to win that one back. Leonard, Leonard with the right foot. Leonard looks up, but again, that's another one that they've put wide. That's three that Monica's now have put wide in the opening nine minutes. But again, in terms of how they're playing that ball as well, I mean, like, it's not the tallest full forward lines you're ever going to see, in particular, Philip Kelly there on the edge of the square. Might be better off trying to angle a ball in. So far, I don't think Leonard, Kelly or Ingle are going to be too happy with the uh, service that's been going in. James Keenan looks up and tries to find Aaron Keenan. And foul on Aaron. Back will come. Free kick for Aaron. Just waiting on a football. Liam Prout looks up. Again, very close to the edge there, but Daniel Doherty does really well. Back to Prout. Prout looking up now. Here comes Dylan Foster. Foster has a bit of space. Could have taken a score earlier. Now he's running into trouble. Was there a foul there? No. On we go, says the referee. And Aaron Leonard break out for Monica's. That's been cut out by Dylan Andrews, though. And uh, too many steps, I think. But a real let off there. We'll see the incident here again. Just they waited and waited. And then the run from Dylan Foster. Possibly could have taken a score here on his left. Carried it further. And just as he was going to pull the trigger, Kieran Clifford came across him there. And I think Clifford can count himself very lucky that a penalty wasn't awarded there. But on we go. Mark Lyons in midfield. Must that one back. And there's loads of space here for Kieran Clifford. Clifford pulls back. Jamie Andrews staying with him, though. Now Philip Kelly. Kelly looks up. And again, you could see what he was trying to do there. Patrick Leonard had pointed to the corner and he was trying to whip the right peg around that, but just didn't whip. Again, you can, I don't know if you can hear at home, but Monica's management team just asking their players just to settle down because they are seeing plenty of the ball. They've had uh, three wides. They've had one score from Patrick Leonard from a free after three minutes so uh, they've seen plenty of action but again just a little bit nervy and like I said earlier just some of that distribution and service into the full forward line has really let them down James Keenan Philip Kelly will come across to try to stop him and Kelly does well but still he goes on this is a really good run Mark Lyons is trying to keep with him and Lyons does well. Keenan. That's a lovely score. That is really well executed from Martin Keenan. And again, it was all about the run though from James Keenan. Just drove at the heart of the Monica's defence and even though Mark Lyons did well to keep up with him initially, just the space opened up for Aaron Keenan. And uh, that's his second score of the afternoon. Thirteen minutes gone in Parnell Park. Old wires three. Monica's a point. The space here now for Andrews. Paul Dillon comes across him. That's a narrow angle, but that is a superb score from Jamie Andrews. He just drove at it. One quick look up at the posts. We'll see it here again. 
Nice interplay. Kieran Gay just held it up really nicely. Waited for Jamie Andrews to find his space. Paul Dillon did well. And I mean, that's a super score from inside the 14. There's uh, an injury now. I think that's Dillon Andrews. Number 13 on his back, but we saw in the semi final against Geraldine Morans had a huge impact when he went back and helped out in the half back line. But he's down at the moment and he's injured. And again, you know, Dwyer's relatively happy. 14 minutes gone here, they've got four points, but even more so than that, they've had three on the bounce now two from Aaron Keane and one from Jamie Andrews. All four of their scores have been from play as well. And they're just, they found their rhythm just a lot earlier in this game than Monica's have. Prout looks up and finds Jamie Andrews. Jamie Andrews is causing all sorts of trouble and pulled to the ground there by Jared Kerwin. And well, without wanting to preempt what the referee's going to do here, I mean, I, that was cynical, that was deliberate. It's a pull down. And I'd imagine we're going to see a black card here and 10 minutes in the bin. For the Monica's right corner back. And indeed it is. Black card. And uh, excuse me, sorry, that was the full back, Keith Dempsey. And that's Keith Dempsey going into the sin bin with uh, 15 minutes gone. Liam Prout now. First chance of the afternoon from a free kick for him, and he has put that away with no problems at all. Ryan Murphy goes long. And, uh, John Coughlin does really well to grab that one. Foul in the end. Now, this is what Monica's have been waiting for all afternoon, just to isolate Philip Kelly in there. Now Kelly has a bit of space. He gives that one off and does really well to find Alex Ingle. But Alex Ingle coming through on the right peg just wasn't able to get the foot around that. And that goes down as another wide for Monica's. So, you know, we talk, talked earlier about the Monica's management team Asking the players just to calm things down a bit because they've had plenty of opportunities. Four wides, but only one score taken. Whereas O'Dwyer's only had the one wide and have had five scores taken. So, um, anyway, we will go through, as we take a water break here after 15 minutes in Parnell Park, we'll go through the, the lineups again uh, for those of you at home who were late into the, the stream. So, for the O'Dwyer's, um, Graham Ward, the captain there at full back, James Keenan, centre back, who's been brilliant. So far in this game, Judo Sullivan had two goals in that semi final win over Geraldine Morans. And then Liam O'Prout, what a performance he had in the semi final. 13 points he got against Geraldine's. And that's your old Wires team here this afternoon. A couple of late changes. Dean Thompson starts for them, and so does Jamie Lawler. Um, but anyway, on to Monica's. And uh, again, just to, uh, for people at home, Keith Dempsey has been sent to the sin bin after 15 minutes. So. They're going to be 10 minutes without Keith. Um, Captain Aaron Leonard, he started really brightly here this afternoon. And then we look inside. Leonard, Kelly and Ingle have been starved of possession really in this first 15 minutes. So they'll be hoping for something better now. A quick chat there with their management team on the far side and hopefully a turn up in fortunes. And Monica's, their journey to here. They were in group one. They finished behind Man of War who won all three of their games. Uh, Monica's won two and lost one. The only one they lost to was against Man of War, but they beat Stars of Erin, they beat Bjorn Eder. Quarter final, they accounted for St. James's Gales, and then in the semi final against Man of War again, it took two very late goals to get them through to this county final on a scoreline of 2 8 to 11 points. And their first final since 2013. And uh, they'd love nothing more than to win a county title. As we mentioned earlier, in particular, the couple of weeks that they've had with the sad passing of the, one of their founder members, Des O'Neill. Jamie Lawler now, four O'Dwyers.
Ian Prout. Oh, that's a nice pass to Kieran Gay if he can make it in, but really good covering there by Glenn Murphy. Left cornerback for Monica's. And Glenn has gone down. I think he's picked up an injury. But he did really well. But the more the Warriors can get the likes of Kieran Gay into the game, the likes of Jamie Andrews, those two lads in particular are starting to pull the strings a little bit more for O'Dwyer's and every time they get the ball you just sense that they've uh, they've got that little bit about them constantly looking for Prout looking for Keenan in the corner who's already got two points from play and again if O'Dwyer's can keep that up they'll be in pretty good shape by the end of this game I'd imagine Then Murphy still being seen to there by the St. Monica's uh, doctor or physio Looks like he'll be all right. And uh, takes that one quickly. Oric Sheehan does really well to gather that one under pressure. And again, that's that Jamie Andrews again. He's been everywhere and here he comes. They've got a 2 and one if they want to take it, but Andrews is happy enough. He don't need Darty inside him. Darty is clapping that effort. But that's really good play from Jamie Andrews. He just read the situation really well. Look at that, does so well. Pass it to Proud, back to Andrews. He did have Doherty inside him, as you can see, just coming in on the left-hand side of your screen there. But Jamie Andrews, the Warriors midfielder. There he is again, trying to gather that one. But does really well. Again, just a loose ball in. And uh, poor old Philip Kelly. He's really at a loss in there. Graham Ward, the uh, O'Dwyer's captain and full-back, doing really well. But I mean, that's, an, that's a meat and two veg kind of ball for a full-back. Porrick Sheen. There's a good ball in there. Ingle does well to gather it. As well, he's out in front of uh, Sean and Keenan there. Nice play from Ingle. Patrick Leonard. Leonard running into traffic here. And again, O'Dwyer's have the legs to break forward, but then they've nice structure at the back. Now that's a dangerous one in there. Where's this one going to break? Good battle in there, but again, I think... Was that Dylan Foster who went down to try to gather that one? I see the high ball in here again. Foster did really well. Good fair battle between himself and Derek Doyle. And Derek Doyle just coming across with a bit of a late hit on Dylan Foster. And I think this could be the first yellow card of the afternoon. It's not. It's just a tick. And he's happy enough just to have had a chat with Derek Doyle. And on we go. And again, another trade of O'Dwyer's and how they're playing it. Just they're, they're just alive to the free man the whole time. Here comes Stephen Crawley. Finds Jamie Andrews. Jamie Andrews taking on Mark Lyons and then feeds that ball inside. Here comes Aaron Keenan. He's got two so far. Two with the left. He's now got three. And all three of them from the left foot. He's down injured. But uh, that's really smart play from O'Dwyer's. Again, it's just so simple. They just find the free man. Good accurate passing. And if you can get Aaron Keenan on the end of those opportunities, he's shown already he's in good form. Left foot is working all right. And that's three from the corner forward. 22 minutes gone, 23 minutes gone here in Parnell Park. Seven points to O'Dwyer's, a point to Monica's. Monica's have had four wide, so they've had plenty of opportunities. Daniel Doherty with the pass there. Here comes Dean Thompson. Keenan again. Keenan measures that one out, but uh, well, Kieran Gay's not too happy. He was all alone on the far side. Keenan took his own shot and well, ballooned that one wide, but... When you've scored three from three efforts, you could understand the temptation to go for it again. It looks like we have a substitute coming on here for Monica's. And uh, trying to figure out indeed who's gone off. But uh, it's Carl Power who's come on anyway. Number 16. Doherty. Does really well. Gathered that turned, he had options off his shoulder but it just opened up for him and you could understand 
Daniel Doherty taking his own score there. But look at that. It's Andrews again. He's pulling the strings around midfield. He's lording it on the kickouts. And then he's uh, just making things difficult for everyone else, for all the uh, Monica's players around him. Daniel Doherty, though, with the score. It's a stretch. The O'Dwyer's lead out even further. Seven points ahead. Five minutes or so to go till half time. Really good take there in midfield by Patrick Leonard. Now that's a good ball. Nearly the first proper low and early ball into space towards Kelly. Kelly does well to find power. Power, he's only on a couple of minutes. And in playing advantage for the earlier foul on Philip Kelly. So it's going to be a trickier free for them. It's going to be further out. But again, like Philip Kelly has shown well. He's shown early in front of Graham Ward. But uh, again, they just need to be alive to those kicks. Patrick Leonard on the edge of the D in the end. And he's done that nicely. They needed that just to settle them. It's only their second point, but... That's been seven in a row from O'Dwyer's up to that point. That's the second point for Patrick Leonard. Both from free kicks. Lee Fanning, O'Dwyer's goalkeeper. Tries to find Jamie Andrews. Doesn't manage to. And here comes Carl Power trying to deliver that one into Philip Kelly. That's Jamie Andrews down injured there. Just when he landed. The right ankle. Clearly at him. Power. Trying to put that one across but... Judo Sullivan, the big frame from the big midfielder. Just put up his paw. Managed to grab that out of the air. And does so well. It's good interplay again here from O'Dwyer's. Now Dylan Andrews. Leonard's trying to stop him. Dylan Foster. Judo Sullivan waited and waited. And the right decision there. O'Sullivan oh, looks up. Strikes that with his left. That's a lovely score from Judo Sullivan. But again, just O'Dwyer's have options everywhere. That time Dylan Foster, the right halfback, tearing forward. And then just in between himself and Judo Sullivan creating the gap. And O'Sullivan again with the left peg. And that's a second score for Judo Sullivan. That's four points from the O'Dwyer's midfield after 27 minutes here of the first half in Parnell Park. The junior county final between O'Dwyer's and St. Monica's. Monica's in their first final since 2013. And again, I mentioned earlier, O'Dwyer's has been a brilliant 24 months for them because having been in a relegation playoff last year, here they are in a county final. Super work from obviously the players, but management manager Sean Keenan as well. And super win in the semi-final after extra times against Geraldine Morans. Maybe Crumlin in a quarter final, and then they topped a group, including Geraldine Morris, Nagail Oga, and Ranla Gales. Now Monica's tearing forward. Dangerous one in. And in the end, from a very difficult angle. And that one was Porrick Sheehan. And uh, by the way, that's Keith Dempsey, who had received a black card earlier. Dempsey is back. I'll be hoping to inspire St. Monica's into a bit of a, a bit of a comeback here before half time. Another score or two just before the break would do them the world of good. And uh, here comes Patrick Leonard again. He's had three so far. And he hits that. Oh, sorry, he's had two so far. That's his third. three for Leonard all three from play and only a minute to go until half time Kieran Gay with the left 
Crosses it over here towards Ste Stephen Crawley. Crawley slips inside Carl Power. Jamie Lawler taking on Derek Doyle. Lawler with the pass inside to Dylan Andrews. Andrews looks for it. That's a lovely pass. Lovely weighted pass towards Doherty. Doherty now with the space. Doherty with the right foot. Doherty over the bar. But again, it was the pass. Look at it here. Dylan Andrews looks up. And I mean, it was just on a plate, really, for Daniel Doherty. And that's Doherty's second point of the afternoon. That's 10 in total for O'Dwyer's. It's been a brilliant, powerful, commanding performance from them in this first half. Prout looks up. Doherty's inside him. Tries to put that one across towards Keenan. That escaped them all, and it will be a free out for Monica's. Again, just Monica's starting to argue amongst themselves now, but just O'Dwyer's are just that little bit livelier to all the loose balls. Any little bit of 50-50. No Dwyer's are just picking them all up and this will be an opportunity now for Liam Prout. He's only had the one effort on goal or for a score from a free in this first half, but he managed to get that, no problem. This one's uh, a little bit more difficult from the right-hand side. Prout looks up towards the posts. Can he angle this one in? He can't. Stayed out to the right and wide. And that's the third wide now for O'Dwyer's. But of more importance to them is the 10 opportunities they have taken here in the first half in Parnell Park. Monica's left corner back. Glenn Murphy under all sorts of trouble and pressure there, but does really well to find Aaron Leonard in the end. Our power number 16 there has done well since he's come in. Judo Sullivan takes that one quickly. Liam Prout with plenty of space here. and Kieran Clifford trying to close the gap down from, but Dylan Andrews now. Andrews looks up, Andrews goes for the score and that is an unbelievable score from Dylan Andrews and it's not the first time that we've seen a score like that here this afternoon score the highest quality Andrews off the shoulder, Clifford was coming to close down the gap but Dylan Andrews from just outside the 14 manages to get that one Kieran Gay does well with Andrews again. Just options everywhere. And there's no point having the options if you're not able to pick them out. And to be fair, that's what they've done so well in this first half, O'Dwyer's. This full forward, Liam Prout. And his nicely done there by Keith Dempsey. Monica's full back. The pressure from Doherty but still manages to tidy that one up Carl Power now a bit of space here for Derek Doyle needs something before half time flashes that one out towards Aaron Leonard and again just that final pass letting the Monica's players down Kieran Gay does well, picks that up. Jamie Lawler. Loads of space here now in front of Stephen Crawley. Bends down to pick that one up. Carl Power trying to stop him. Power doing well since he's come on. J. 
Jude O'Sullivan looks for his fourth forward Prout and he looks for Keenan and he finds him Keenan out in front of Glenn Murphy Keenan spins back inside Murphy getting a bit of help now from Kerwin but again the accuracy of the O'Dwyer's forward forwards I mean that's a super score I mean like he was under pressure Murphy was trying to stop him Kerwin was trying to stop him but in the end they could do nothing Aaron Keenan's on fire here for O'Dwyer's in the first half and that is the final whistle of this first half of the Junior County Championship Final and it's been a first half that O'Dwyer's have dominated from start to finish they got the first point after two minutes and they get the last point after 34 Again, we'll watch here some of the first half highlights. Again, as I mentioned, what a start from O'Dwyer's. They got an early score from Judo Sonovan. That was the first one then from Aaron Keenan. He's been brilliant for them in this first half. He's been ably assisted. And a few others outside him. Let me see here his second score, which put them 3-1 up after 13 minutes. this fella Jamie Andrews he's been brilliant his midfield partner Judo Sullivan might have gotten all or certainly most of the headlines in the semi-final with his two goals but Jamie Andrews has really stood up here today not that O'Sullivan has been bad not by any means he's had two points himself but this fella Andrews he's just been driving at the heart of the Monica's defence all the time this is Liam Prout's point after 16 to put them 5-1 up And again, Monica's, a lot of the time they just played themselves into trouble. Two lakhs a days ago on the ball. And again, the likes of Jamie Andrews, uh, Dylan Andrews, Kieran Gay, Aaron Keenan. They've just been alive to all those opportunities. Another great score there, that one from Aaron Keenan. That stage, that was 22 minutes. They were 7 1 up. And again, lovely mark from Andrews. And then just alive to the opportunities that were inside. Doherty. Turns, creates that space for himself. 8-1 after 24. Patrick Leonard, to be fair to him, he stood to his task. That was his second point, all, both of them from freeze. But again, anything the Monikas could do, more often than not, O'Dwyer's had an answer. That was Leonard with his third point after 28, which narrowed the gap to six. But again... What response did O'Dwyer's have? Well, they just got three points before the end of the half. What a pass from Andrews. Found Doherty. Doherty again. Just so calm and composed when in possession. Wasn't rushed at all. Took his time. And here, another example of it. Of just a super score taking. Andrews driving in. I mean, he was under pressure there. Kieran Clifford was closing down the space doing what you'd expect your centre-half back to do. You know, ushered him towards... The corner flag inside the 14. But I mean, when the likes of Aaron Keenan and Dylan Andrews are kicking scores like that for fun, it makes it very, very difficult for the St. Monica's players. So that's the first half summary. O'Dwyer's well in command here after 30 minutes in Parnell Park. They've got 12 points. St. Monica's have three. We'll be uh, back with the second half after this short break.
And you're very welcome back for the start of this second half of the du Dublin, <laughs> Dublin, <laughs> the Dublin Junior Championship final between O'Dwyer's and St. Monica's. Kevin Roach, the referee, throwing the ball in, and Monica's with the early possession through Mark Lyons. And as you can see on the scoreboard there, O'Dwyer's with a commanding lead at half time. They'll also have the breeze in this second half, so it's by uh, it's by no means an easy task. Aaron Leonard, their captain, places this ball down. Leonard drives that one in. Where's it going to break? And initially, John Coughlin did really well. The midfielder for Monica's to get out in front, but he just couldn't gather that one. Leonard driving it in. And he did well to get out in front of Dylan Andrews, but just couldn't gather it. And looks like an injury here for one of the O'Dwyer's players. Their captain Graham Ward checking in on him. And hard to see who it is. There we go. James Keenan. Again, commanding presence in that first half. A couple of really good efforts just to drive up the pitch. But in terms of some of the other players who showed really well, I suppose Aaron Keenan, corner forward. Left corner forward, number 15 on his back with four points. I mean, he was superb. He was showing really well. He was creating space for those around him, but just so accurate. Five opportunities out of score. Got four points in total, but he was ably assisted by plenty of others around him. Judo Sullivan with two points. Jamie Andrews. So four points from your midfielders and one half of football is not bad going at all. And some of those scores were of the highest highest quality Daniel Doherty another with 0-2 to his name and be very happy with his performance Roderick Sheehan did well there there's Paddy Conroy now Carl Power again he's been lively since he's come in as a sub after 15 or so minutes of the first half and foul there by Aaron Keenan Kevin Roach having a quick chat with Aaron Keenan. Has to mind his tackling. Carl Perro takes that one quickly, finds Alex Ingle. He did well to step back. Now he's going to need a bit of help. Again, kicking into that breeze. Oh, looks for a free, finds Kelly instead. Philip Kelly, a very difficult angle. And that's just the type of start to the second half that Monica's wanted. Brilliant from Philip Kelly. Their first score of the afternoon from play. And again, Alex Ingle did so well. Carried it into the heart of the O'Dwyer's defence. Maybe looking for the free there. And in the end, he found his full forward colleague, Philip Kelly. That's his first score of the afternoon. And it was really well taken. That's a few scores now. O'Dwyer's in the first half. And now Philip Kelly in this second half. From an acute angle on the right-hand side. But just taken really, really well. Here's Kelly again. He's been lively at the start of this game. Out in front of Graham Ward. The O'Dwyer's full back. Really good play by Philip Kelly. Frustrated in that first half with the quality of some of the ball that was going into him, but he'll be happy with that start. Where is he bringing it? Referee shouts Liam Proud from nearly 100 yards away. Obviously the referee Kevin Roach has listened to him because he's asked Patrick Leonard to step back a bit, but Leonard still strikes that. And, uh, well... Just about hits the top of the netting there, so we haven't lost a ball to the Anikarni Church car park. And uh, maybe a kick out for Lee Fanning, but it's been a much brighter start to the second half for St. Monica's. And a first final for them since 2013. For O'Dwyer's, it's the first county final for them in 19 years. 
obviously a powerhouse of Dublin GA, but they dropped a junior in 2018. You think back to John O'Dwyer or John O'Leary, excuse me, a Dublin captain in 1995, and other Dublin players like Stephen Rooney and Jeff Wilson before. And that's going to break. Here we go. Oh, that's a super save from Lee Fanning. John Coughlin. He was down on his foot. And again, I'd be really interested to see that again. The referee's given that as a wide. But I think Lee Fanning pulled off a save there. John Coughlin in there. I think that came off his boot. Anyway, it goes down as a wide. And again, a let off for Old Wires. But whether it was a save or not, I think Lee Fanning did really well. Just spread himself. Gave John Coughlin no space at all. But we could have been facing into a very different game if uh, John Coughlin had managed to get the score there. But again, I'm giving all the credit to Lee Fanning there. He had some couple of great saves in the semi-final as well. Four O'Dwyer's against Geraldine Morns. Game that they won after extra time. Won it by eight in the end, which is comfortable, but obviously bringing a game to extra time, no mean feat. Now, here we go. Kieran Gay makes his way in on goals, and in the end, with Ryan Murphy off his line and narrowing that angle. Sensible choice there. Fist that over the bar. First score of the second half, so four O'Dwyer's. And again, really nice score from Kieran Gay there. Jamie Andrews passes it on. His midfield partner, Judo Sullivan. Judo Sullivan with two points in the first half. Judo Sullivan would be very disappointed with that. We've seen from that first half performance, he's well able to kick them. But he'll be disappointed with that one, and that goes down as a wide. It's the fourth of the afternoon, four old wires. And again, here's that one again. Drops in on the edge of the square. Cochrane, and again. Cochrane didn't put up too much of a fight looking for that 45, but. Free and toe Dwyer's. Foster leaving this one with Judo Sullivan. He'll be under no particular hurry, and indeed he leaves it to Liam Prout. Finds man telling Liam to get back. Liam does so. Now finds Kieran Gay. Kieran just pulls in Glenn Murphy and then passes it off to Liam Prout. Now he gives that one off to Judo Sullivan. Judo's going to want this on his left. He manages to get his on his left, but. Aaron Leonard putting him under all sorts of pressure. And Leonard did well. That's another wide for O'Dwyer's. And for Judo Sullivan. That's two wides for Judo Sullivan now in the space of two minutes or so. It looks like we have a substitution. Uh, a number of substitutes, actually. Uh, looks like Alex Ingle is leaving the pitch for uh, Monica's. And uh, coming in for him is Glenn Power. And then we have a substitute coming in for... Woodwires as well, and it's uh, Colm O'Reilly is coming in in place of Dean Thompson. That's a great mark taken there by Mark Lyons. Lyons looks up. Again, difficult to drive a ball into that breeze, but that was good play from Dylan Andrews. Just shepherded the ball out in front of John Coughlin. That's another wide from Monica's seven in total in the uh, 38 minutes or so we've had here in Parnell Park. No goals as of yet, but really good display of accurate shooting from O'Dwyer's in the first half. Manager Sean Keane will be delighted with that. In a first county final in 19 years. A team that were in a relegation playoff last year. So it's been a real turnaround in fortunes for them in the 24 months. And you add into that the uh, the fact that they've uh, recently signed contracts on generation to land at Hamlet Lane and a new development. It really is exciting times for the club as Kieran Gay plows ahead now finds Doherty. Doherty is out in front of Dempsey. Finds Gay again. Gay settles himself then with the left peg and just strokes that over the bar. It's so simple. It really is. Doherty did so well to show, but Kieran Gay just kind of drives at the heart of Monica's defence. They've no answer for him. And again, they're just creating little runs off the shoulder. Nothing too intricate. It's very simple. 
But when it's done well, it's so effective. Judo Sullivan being told to keep it simple, and that's what he does. Nice pass there to O'Reilly, who's just on the pitch a couple of minutes. This might break for Keenan. Keenan gets it onto his left, and Keenan again just strokes that over the bar. That's five points now for Aaron Keenan. He's been in superb form for O'Dwyer's. But again, just Monica's not helping themselves, losing possession. Dirty ball in round midfield. That O'Dwyer's are just winning all those scraps. And uh, it's another score for Aaron Keenan. That's five now for the corner forward. Nice take there from Patrick Leonard. Three points from him in the first half, all from freeze. We've had one in the second half from Philip Kelly. That one was from play. Really, Monica's coming up against a really impressive O'Dwyer's outfit. Question of steps there from Doyle. Lays that one off, and that's a nice score. And again, if we can get more of that from O'Dwyer's, we'll be doing all right. Derek Doyle does really well to drive at them. Finds that Patrick Leonard, and Leonard then with his first score from play of the afternoon. He's got three from freeze. But again... Nice and accurate. And again, just stopping that flow and the momentum from O'Dwyer's. Still 10 points between the teams. It's a mountain that phases Monica's. Aaron Keenan, foul on him. O'Reilly. Does well to get that at the second attempt. And the referee just letting play develop here. Lovely pick up there from Paddy Conroy. Across we go. Kieran Clifford under pressure though from Liam Prout. Still managed to find Porrick Sheehan. That could work here for Patrick Leonard, and it does. Crawley and Andrews doing well to dispossess him, though. Oh, there was a late hit there on Andrews. I think the ref saw it, but I think he's happy to let play develop as Liam Proud has the ball. Here comes Keenan. Keenan makes his way in on goal. Keenan strikes it! And Keenan's put that wide. And Daniel Doherty was in acres of space across from him. That was the right thing to do. I know he's got five points, but really, when you're 2 on one and you have a man... Well, Daniel Doherty will have words with him later. That was going to be the simplest of finishes for Daniel Doherty. And indeed... Kevin Roach did see that incident. He was happy to let play develop, but he is now calling Patrick Leonard over towards him. And Patrick Leonard will definitely go into the book. And I'd imagine it's a yellow card. And indeed it is. Yellow card for Patrick Leonard. First yellow card of the afternoon. Did have a black card for Keith Dempsey halfway through the first half for Monica's. He's now watching uh, another substitute coming in here for St. Monica's. And it's number 23. That's Simon Leach. He's coming in in place of John Coughlin. Again, John Coughlin, who was on the edge of the square, started the second half, had that effort for a goal. But for me, it was a great save from Lee Fanning. The referee gave it as a wide ball, but a ah, great take from Liam Prout. Takes it quickly. Kieran Gay in plenty of space. Again, with that space, he's just able to angle that pass in. Now, here comes Doherty. Doherty has O'Sullivan across from him. He's also got Keenan. Keenan missed another one. And in the end, Ryan Murphy, the Monica's goalie, manages to put a boot to that. I'm Riley. I'm O'Reilly, I should say. Tries to gather that for O'Dwyer's. But again, they had nearly too many options then. Doherty put that one across to Keenan as the angle was maybe a little bit too tight for himself and Keenan was unlucky. I think it hit the post in the end but we'll stay with the action here and stay with Derek Doyle. 
for Monica's manages to get that away to Leonard. And on we go again. Ref not happy, wants to have a quick chat with one of the old Warriors players. I think it's Stephen Crawley, but I think it's just a tick, nothing more than that. Paddy Conroy. Again, really good work. Dylan Andrews back there. As I mentioned earlier in the first half, he may be selected as right corner forward, but he's been playing very much back there, giving his defence uh, a hand. And last weekend in the semi fire in the semi final, he went back to centre. Here's that opportunity again. Kieran Gay, what a pass with his outside of his left peg. Plenty of space into Doherty then, turns on a sixpence, loses Murphy, makes his way in on goal, sees Keenan, Keenan does everything right. I think that's a really good block in the end from, I think it was between Aaron Leonard, the Monica's captain, and their goalie, Ryan Murphy, who managed to avert the danger. But, uh, you know, with 15 minutes gone in this second half. A foul there, no doubt about it. Philip Kelly... Cutting across Dylan Andrews. Dylan is down injured, injured. Just a tick for Philip Kelly though. And that is the water break for the second half. Again, it's been a commanding performance here by O'Dwyer's in Parnell Park in this second half. They've only scored three as opposed to Monica's two, but it's really all the hard yards was done in the first half where they managed to notch 12 points in total. Here's a few of the highlights that we've had from the second half. What a point this was from Philip Kelly to get Monica's up and running in the second half. Their first point from play after 33 minutes. That put them on four points. And then this was the goal chance, really. Dropped to Coughlin. Yeah, the more I see that, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that was a save. And a good one at that from Lee Fanning. Again, Dwyer's fuller running that man, Kieran Gay. He's been brilliant. He set up a couple of scores, but he also hasn't been afraid to take his man on. And this is the one he created for Doherty. Or sorry, put it into Doherty, but then got the ball back. And it was really, really nice play there. Aaron Keenan, again, that's his fifth point of the afternoon. I put them on 15. This is the score from Patrick Leonard. Again, just over the shoulder, right peg. Again, any of the opportunities he's had, he's been really accurate with them. This was the goal chance that they really should have taken. Daniel Doherty was all alone there. Keenan blasted it, hit the outside of the left hand up upright. And this was... Uh, the goal chance that Doherty created for Keenan himself. Again, Doherty did really well. Angle was closing there. And then Keenan and Doherty as he tried to pull in it again. Between Aaron Leonard, the Monica's captain, and Ryan Murphy, their goalie. They just managed to, to clear that one away. Again, if you have any comments on social media, just send them in to us. Send them into Dublin GA, and we'll keep an eye on them. Fifteen minutes to go here in Parnell Park. In the first of our county finals for the afternoon. O'Dwyer's 15 points. St. Monica's 5 points. It's been a commanding performance, as you can tell. By O'Dwyer's, the Balbriggan side. Established in 1918. First county final in 19 years for them here today. Keenan. Riley to Keenan again. Ian Prout is just inside, and I'd imagine from the left hand side that Prout will want to take this one, and indeed he is. Ian Prout hoping to win a county title here this afternoon with O'Dwyer's. His wife Lisa won, won last year against O'Dwyer's, playing with Man of War. Nice little double for the Prout family if Liam could add to Lisa's county title from last year. Liam strikes that one in around the square. 
and uh, and hard to figure out what went on there, but uh, I think is it uh, was one of the Monica's players giving the ref. I think that's what it was. I think one of the Monica's players was giving the ref a bit of trouble in his ear. So it's an even simpler kick for Liam Prout this time. And left hand side, right footed kicker. And he strikes that and he makes no mistake this time. Second point of the afternoon for Liam Prout. Second one from a free. And again, it just stretches the O'Dwyer's lead out even further. 11 points between the teams now. 10 minutes left here in the Junior Championship Final of 2020 in Parnell Park. Interestingly, a journey that started for both these teams on the 26th of July, nearly two months exactly to the day. And with COVID-19 and all the implications, I mean, to have the championship run off in the space of essentially eight weeks. Credit to all the teams involved, the county board and the administrative staff, referees, all the volunteers. It's been a uh, pretty crazy couple of months. Great take there in the end by Dylan Foster over his head under pressure and then Liam Prout that's going to be a long one where's that going to break well it's going to break nowhere because it's a really really nice take there by Keith Dempsey the Monica's full back Derek Doyle looks up Kelly calls for it. that's a really good take Kelly's going to keep going and really he had the mark if he wanted it but he saw the opportunity and to be fair to him they needed the goal and Patrick Leonard had slipped inside him but again, just a pass from Philip Kelly, not accurate enough. And in the end, and we see it here, he gave a really nice shout for it there. And he was looking for the run from Leonard, but whether Leonard thought he was going to take the mark or whatever, but he just never carried on. So the score remains. Odor's 16 points, St. Monica's 5. And again, at this stage, with only 8 minutes to go, it looks very unlikely that Monica's are going to take the day with him, but be remiss of us not to let the second half go either without mentioning the passing of Des O'Neill, one of their founding members who passed away a little under two weeks ago. Des, who founded the club with Tommy Marin in 1964. They were Eden Moore Gales back then. Had to wait another few years before they were calling themselves St. Monica's. We watch in here. And well, that's a, that's a poor wide there from Sean and Keenan. Uh, again, as I said, everyone involved with Dublin GA thinking of uh, Des O'Neill and the wider O'Neill family and everyone in Monica's dealing with his passing. Lovely moments, tribute and silence observed before the game. Another substitute coming in here now for St. Monica's. And uh, that's going to be Kean Doran coming in. Still waiting to see who's leaving. Might be Derek Doyle actually. Derek is down there. He's receiving treatment and well it is. He's hopping off literally on one leg at the moment. And uh, so Derek leaving the pitch and Keen Dorn coming on for him. Carl Power. that pass to Kean Dorn, his first involvement of the afternoon. Here comes Kelly, back to Dorn. Dorn, bit of space, Dorn drives it. And Dorn, substitute, uh, second touch of the afternoon, drives that over the bar. Again, Dorn did well there. But again, four or five O'Dwyer's players in front of him. It's always going to be difficult. Nice take there from Carl Power. Power has done really well since he's come in, halfway through the first half or so. Another high ball in on top of Philip Kelly. Uh, he's never going to be a favourite for those ones. And again, just to wires, able to just mop all of those up. Jamie Andrews doing well, puts that one back towards Jamie Lawler. Jamie Lawler cuts back inside. Here comes the substitute, Colm O'Reilly. O'Reilly looks up, he sees Daniel Doherty inside, but Daniel Doherty now has 
three Monica's lads around him, keeping an eye on him. Proud. Nice little show from him there. Still goes on. In the end, he passes it back. And now the O'Dwyer's players really under no pressure at all. They've been superb all afternoon. And to be fair to them, you know, they reached this county final unbeaten. They came through group three in a group with Gerlin Morris, Nagai Logan, Ranla Gales. They beat Crumlin in a quarter final by two points and then they beat Gerlin Morris in the semi-final after extra time by eight points. And really here this afternoon, they've been brilliant. Really good from Stephen Crawley, just driving. Just asking serious questions of the Monica's players. Looks like Simon Leach is going to go into the referee's notebook here. Liam Prout. Point in the first half. Point in the second half. That's the 45 just there in your screen and that's a really nice strike from Liam 17 points O'Dwyer's have scored they're not done yet another 4 or 5 minutes left to go here in Parnell Park all the hard work done in that first half when they were 12-3 up at half time here comes Leonard Stephen Crawley coming across to try to narrow the angle for him Leonard now on the left peg Leonard with the left foot, but Leonard has put that to the wide. Lee Fanning, O'Dwyer's goalkeeper, keen to get things underway. But Liam Proud telling him to calm things down, no rush. Again, you think of that opportunity that Monica's had at the start of the second half, John Coughlin in on the edge of the square, that save from Lee Fanning. If, you know, if Monica's had a goal there again, not saying the Dwyer's would have lost, but just could have asked all sorts of questions of them. Power puts that one inside to Dorn. Dorn strikes and Dorn's got the goal. Key and Dorn, that's 1-1 one, one for the substitute. You'd imagine it's too little, too late, but that's a lovely finish from Dorn. Again, Carl Power, another of the substitutes who's been really influential for Monica since he came on halfway through the first half. And Key and Dorn buries that to the net. Gave Lee Fanning no chance. Still eight points between them. John and Keenan puts that one in towards Doherty. Doherty, he's making his way towards Murphy's goal. Doherty, great save from Murphy. Dwyer is looking for the immediate response to that Monica's goal. Ryan Murphy did really well. Stood tall to Daniel Doherty. He's been very lively for O'Dwyer's in this game. Kieran Gay just puts that one back to Jamie Andrews. He's been quiet the second half, but he hasn't needed to do too much different. Again, he's had help everywhere. Liam Proud as uh, time ebbs away here in Parnell Park and uh, we have free two Monica's and keen to take it quickly and they do Mark Lyons it's back inside O'Reilly he looks up inside but to be fair all the Monica's players are either to his left or behind him so that's where they go Here's another substitute, Lee Harris, who's come on for St. Monica's. Loses out, though. Might get it back. He won't. Aaron Keenan. He's got options on the far side of the pitch. One of those is Liam Prout. And Liam does really well there. And he finds Colm O'Reilly over on the far side. And they'll get it back and they'll play a bit of keep ball here. And it looks like Patrick Leonard is rushing in to put a stop to that. And he's put a stop to it. But he did that illegally. And uh, looks like the ref 
Kevin Roach wants to have a quick chat with Patrick Leonard. There's nothing too hectic in that, but indeed I think he wants to have a chat with Philip Kelly here. Indeed, it's a yellow card for Philip Kelly there. Didn't really see much in that. Patrick Leonard ran in all right, looking to put a stop to the keep ball, but it must have been something that the referee saw. James Keenan comes back. Here's Jamie Andrews. Dylan Andrews looks across the pitch. And again, Kieran Gay in loads of space. That left peg of his just has that quick look inside to see where Daniel Doherty is. And again, nice reading of the game there from Kieran Clifford, the Monica centre half back. Philip Kelly back there. A lovely score at the start of the second half, but again, we just saw far too little of Philip Kelly in this game. Distribution and service into him in the first half just wasn't good enough. Very difficult for him to be competing with Graham Ward and the rest of the O'Dwyer's full back line. And Philip Kelly loses the ball there. Kieran Gay tidies things up, finds Jamie Andrews. And just things getting a little bit sloppy now. Players tired. Now the game is over now, well and truly over. Commanding performance, commanding win for O'Dwyers. As we look at O'Reilly spreading that one towards Jamie Andrews. And then they've loads of options. And they go to James Keenan here. James Keenan. Sennon Keenan gives the pass and tries to find Doherty. Does really well to find Daniel Doherty. Three. Monica's players trying to stop Doherty, but they still go on. Jamie Lawler. And fells the ball there. Too many steps. And we have two minutes of injury time here. And it looks like another name going into the book here for Kevin Roach, Daniel Doherty. Guilty party there. Might be a black card. Daniel's trying to blame the studs or what he is there but anyway a black card there Monica's with an extra player for the last couple of moments Aaron Leonard does well to find Patrick Leonard to cut out there the ball was about to get to Glenn Power now Carl Power has possession with the right foot tries to put that across and not really sure what happened there I think he saw Lee Harris all alone and uh, we'll get a couple of subs coming on here now for O'Dwyer's so bear with me as I try to see exactly who's coming on See historic day, first county final in 19 years. They want to get as many as those lads on as they can from their panel. First player on there is Fiach Keenan. He's after coming on. And uh, I think they're trying to sort out jerseys and all sorts on the far side and trying to get on the last couple of players, but they may have messed this up altogether and not actually managed to get any of them on. They're all now swapping jerseys and so if we get any names wrong, apologies, but there's jersey swapping and all sorts of stuff going on on the far side. So we'll see how we go. Jamie Lawler back to Liam Prout. They're unlikely to get, I don't know if they'll get an opportunity now to get those players on, but we'll see. Dylan Andrews. And they haven't managed to get those substitutes on, but it doesn't matter. Because O'Dwyer's are the Dublin County Junior Champions for 2020. A commanding performance, a commanding win for Graham Ward's side, their captain and fullback. He was inspirational on the edge of the square. 
But manager Sean Keenan and the rest of his management team can be very proud, not only with today's performance, but the effort over the last 12 months. As I mentioned before, they were in a relegation playoff last year. They've now come back and they're county champions. 17 points they've scored over the 60-odd minutes here in Parnell Park, only conceding the 1-6. And really the damage was done in that first half where they managed to get 12 points. And you can see what it means to the panel of players. A first county final in 19 years. Her club established in 1918, representing Balbrig. And 31 teams in total the club has. And they've had a tough couple of years, dropping to junior in 2018. But this will make up for all, those, all that heartache. And again, these are just some of those highlights from the second half. Monica's did everything right to try to stem the flow. That score from Philip Kelly. And again, for me, this is the one. I mean, like if this goal had gone in, it's down to five points. You don't know how it's going to play out, but Again, Lee Fannin in goal for O'Dwyer's did everything right there. Again, a number of their forwards were so impressive. Kieran Gay amongst them, two points at the start of the second half. And uh, again, did so well there to feed Daniel Doherty, got the ball back and then just popped it over the bar. And as we're watching the highlights here, the O'Dwyer's players are celebrating and enjoying the moment down below us. Why wouldn't they? Aaron Keenan with that score. I mean, he was so impressive in the corner forward for O'Dwyer's. Patrick Leonard did everything he could for the St. Monica's cause. He got four points, three from freeze, one from play. But again, anything that uh, Monica's did that was generally speaking an O'Dwyer's answer Keenan going for a goal there when he had Doherty outside him and that was probably the easier, well, it was definitely the better option. Doherty tried to give him back the favour then a couple of moments later. Cut inside, Glenn Murphy put the ball across and again Keenan hits the bar. Good recovery from Leonard and Ryan Murphy and goals. There was Liam Prouts, his second point of the afternoon. Three points in total for the full forward, all three of them from play. As I said, it's a, it's a nice little double. Wife Lisa won a county title at Man of War last year and now Liam has a county title with O'Dwyer's. One of the elder statesmen of the team. What an occasion for him. Kean Dorn did well when he came on for Monica's. He got that point after 54 minutes. Narrowed the gap to 10. That was the last score of the afternoon for O'Dwyer's from Liam Prout. And, well, the last score then of the game altogether. Went to Monica's. Carl Power driving at O'Dwyer's. He was really influential when he came on halfway through the first half. And that's the finish from Kean Dorn that leaves the score 17 points to O'Dwyer's, 1 6 to Monica's. And it's definitely O'Dwyer's that are the Dublin Junior County Champions for 2020. We see there their captain, Graham Ward, up on the steps of Parnell Park, County Board Chairman. Mick Seavers will present the trophy. And again, you can see just what it means to the players on the far side. And I mean, just pure elation. And again, they're enjoying their moment as well they should. That's a difficult one for Monica's out in the pitch there. They're having a few words. Again, as we've mentioned a couple of times during this game, passing a founder, founding member, Des O'Neill, there a couple of weeks ago, 94 years of age. Tough couple of weeks for the club. In their first county final since 2013, where they also lost to Kula. Um, but again, you know they can be really proud of what they've achieved in reaching this county final here today and representing everyone back in Eden Moore. Um, again, they've had a really good year. But uh, and a funny year for everyone, of course. Again, a campaign that started for both these teams on the 26th of July. And here we are two months later in Parnell Park for a county final. Um, just waiting to see now for the uh, the presentation. Unfortunately, uh, there isn't a mic on the far side. But 
I can only presume that Mick is congratulating O'Dwyers on a fine and sporting occasion, but on a really, really good performance. Again, you look through that team and you look through the performances, some massive performances. Aaron Keenan, as I mentioned earlier, who got five points. Daniel Darty was a constant threat. Again, he got two points in the first half. But he was just so lively in the second half. And again, generous round of applause from the O'Dwyer's players to St. Monica's for all they'd achieved in reaching today's county final. Um, mastery in midfield, really. I mean, that combination of Judo Sullivan and Jamie Andrews, they were everywhere. Jamie Andrews in particular had the legs to go box to box all afternoon. And Judo Sullivan just did the basics really, really well and still managed to chip in with two points himself and Andrews did the same. Uh, and it was really that foundation that they laid in that first half. 12 points to three up at half time. And for St. Monica's, even though they managed to rally and get 1-3 in that second half, it was far too little too late. And it's a very worthy Dublin junior champions. And it is O'Dwyer's. And uh, on Ahas. Here Graham Ward and Curran Son of Laca. Our son coming. O'Dwyer's, the junior one senior football champions for 2020. Their first county title in 19 years. What a moment. And uh, what an occasion. They'll enjoy that one, I'm sure. And again, a club founded in 1918. Exciting times ahead for them with that new development, hopefully only around the corner for them. And uh, But it's, uh, as I said, in terms of today and today's performance, it was brilliant. 17 points to 1-6. They are the county junior championship winners. Congratulations from us all here on Dubs TV. And uh, we hope they enjoy the celebrations. And uh, from us here, that's it for now. We will be back, though, with the intermediate county final uh, from 5 o'clock. But for now, uh, stay safe, enjoy the celebrations, and uh, chat soon.